Today on my Newly Naturals How To Series, I'll be showing how to flat twist in the back. One YouTuber commented, Dear Wills Girl 2005, A lot of YouTubers never show how to flat twist in the back going down. That's the problem I'm having. Well, we're here to fix it. I'm going to show you how to flat twist in the back going up, down, and diagonally. So we're just going to start with our first parting, diagonal and make sure that we gel each side of the part generously. As I showed in my first how to flat twist video, you're gonna take a bottom piece of that section and split it into two. And then you're gonna twist the bottom piece over the top piece, making the top piece the bottom and the bottom piece the top. And you're gonna add hair to the top piece and the hair that's closer to your nape, you're gonna twist that over the piece with the added hair. And you just repeat that process all the way until you have twisted that entire section. It's important that you keep your fingers as close to your scalp as possible to ensure that your twist is being put in securely. It's gonna be a little bit difficult as you first learn how to do it, but Eventually, you'll get the hang of it and you'll see the difference in how long your twist lasts. Now, if you're doing a twisted style and you're leaving some hair out in the top like I am, then you will secure your hair right at the part where your twist ends. So, you can use a bobby pin to secure your twist. Bobby pins can be just as effective in securing your twists as rubber bands. Early in my natural hair journey, I preferred bobby pins. I was a little skittish about using rubber bands so often. But if I have a style that requires quite a few twists, then I'll use rubber bands instead. It seems that when I have a bulk of bobby pins, it, they tend to hurt my scalp and sometimes they also cause uh, sore spots. Um, and even some scarring on my scalp. So when I have a lot of twists, now I prefer to use rubber bands. So these are just the little simple rubber bands and all I do is I twist my twist a little bit so it's a little more snug to the scalp and then I um, put my rubber band on rotating it about three times and usually that keeps it from being too tight but it's secure enough. Okay, so now we're going to learn how to do a flat twist going straight up the back center of my head. So you just want to be careful to make your parting straight, as straight as possible. Gel it on both sides. For demonstration purposes, I'm starting this twist up here, but normally you would start it at your nape. If that's what your desired style dictates so we're going to do it the same way you just take a small section at the bottom of your parted section um, split it into two take that bottom piece and twist it around the top piece and then you're gonna grab some hair from the loose section and add it to the top piece and then cross the bottom piece over the top piece again and then you add more hair. Doing your twist going up this way can be a little bit challenging because it means that you use your fingers a little bit differently than you normally do if you are twisting going down or twisting the front of your hair. So I usually have to, until I get the feel for it, I have to use one hand to kind of section out a piece of hair to add to the top piece before I cross them over like I'm doing now but usually I'll get the feel of it and then I'll be able to keep my fingers closer to my scalp Okay, so lastly, we're going to learn how to twist going down. So we're using the same process. Instead of taking a, a small section at the bottom 
of my parted section, I'm taking a small section from the top. I split it into two, cross the top over the bottom, add hair to the bottom section, as you see me doing now. Add hair to that bottom section, get that other hair out of the way, and then cross the top over the bottom. And that is the same process no matter what direction you're twisting, whether you're crossing that top section over the bottom, going to the right, or going to the left. It's the same process. And you just continue crossing those sections over and adding hair to the bottom section as you go down. This technique is not only helpful for flat twisting, but also if you're going to do a two strand twist that you're going to take a loose and you want it to be wavy, you use the same process. As you get to the ends, you just want to make sure that you keep your fingers close to your scalp so that your twist isn't buckling at the bottom because if it does it won't stay tight and snug to your scalp. So you may be saying well Will's girl after I get all these twists in my hair how do I get them down? Well usually after having my twist up for about a week or so in my hair I do not take them down dry. Um, I usually put conditioner or I'll mix my hair with a little bit of water first to make sure that I soften up those sections of my twist and then I take it down uh, between the joints of the twist. So right where they cross over each other, I, I separate that part and take it down. Um, also, when it comes to time to take my rubber bands out, never just pull a rubber band out of your hair, unless it's broken already. But I usually take a pair of scissors and I find a loose section of the rubber band. I stretch it out to make sure that I don't cut my hair and I cut the rubber band and then it just slides right out without damaging my hair. So hopefully these tips help um, when it comes to removing your two strand flat twist. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it, it was helpful. If you have any questions leave it in the comment box below and also check out my first video on how to flat twist in the front. So I'll see you next time. Bye.